Good morning, Fish On Alberta viewers. Today I am at Struble Lake, and it doesn't look to be too busy out there. Unfortunately, the one spot I wanted to go to has some shacks on it already. So uh, let's get our stuff unloaded and see if we can find a good spot for some rainbows and some perch.
All right. That is a lot of work setting this thing up. I just got the heater turner on, although you don't really need the heater, as I'm taking layers off already. There's my two holes. Good news is, you can see bottom down there. Don't worry about that black line, that's a reflection. So I'm gonna put the camera in this hole, so you all can see down there. I just about lost that camera. Took it off, threw it on the chair, and she bounced. Oh no, I might be seeing dead fish down there, but oh well. There's uh, Victor and Terry Ann's holes. So, while I bring the rest of the gear in, let's uh, go over the regulations for Struble Lake. The regulations for Struble Lake can be found in your Alberta Guide to Sport Fishing Regulations Handbook or online at alberta-regulations.ca slash fishing regs. If you turn to page 16 in your handbook, you will see something that looks similar to the image on the screen. If you look under Eastern Slopes Zone, Watershed Unit ES2, you will find Struble Lake listed below. Struble Lake is part of the Put and Take Trout Stocking Program, and if you look near the top of the page, you will see the regulations for the water bodies under the Put and Take Program. This means Struble Lake is open all year. Bait is allowed. Although, fishing with bait fish is not allowed. You may keep 5 trout of any size, 3 northern pike of any size, and 15 yellow perch of any size, although, there is no evidence of northern pike in Struble Lake, for all other species, please see the maximum possession limits. Electric and gas motors are allowed on Struble Lake, but remember to keep boat speeds under 10 km per hour within 30 meters of the shoreline, and follow speed limits. Don't forget to pick up a copy of Barry Mitchell's Alberta Fishing Guide for more information on Struble Lake. If you happen to encounter a bull trout, it must be released. Remember, no black put it back. And if you encounter a Prussian carp, don't let it loose, please kill it and either take it home to eat or dispose of the remains away from any other water bodies. So yes, as you saw, there is perch in Struble. They are illegally introduced. And they are here. All right, we got a perch. He just came out of nowhere. Came in like a torpedo at that uh, midnight fire. See if we can get him to come back. I was trying to turn on all these cameras. Wasn't paying attention. Story of my life. That was a nice sized perch. But man, he came in quick. Oh, there, there he is. Got him. Got a perch. Here comes the perch. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's off. Got off right at the hole. You sucker. All right, one perch on. Let's go back down and get some more. Oh man, he chewed up the tail. You dirty bugger. You must know how fun these are to tie. Man, he came out of nowhere. We found the perch. Oh, here he comes. Here comes another perch. Oh. Nope, just hit him in the head. Can this camera catch? There we go. All right, we found some perch. This is gonna be fun. Except for the camera about to die. I was out here with my sink line, and I actually couldn't get my sink line down because every time it hit the water, the perch would grab my lure. They were driving me friggin' nuts. I know the trout were about 15 feet down and the perch were about 5 feet down and I couldn't get through the perch to get the trout. I mean of all the problems I have in life. <laughs> I was going to use the 4K camera but it's having some issues today. So uh, where is that? Is that right on the bottom? Nope, there we go. Alright, we'll leave this here and uh, 
see what we can gather. I'm right over an old weed bed. I'm just in the middle of a dock and a fallen down tree. Oh man, this tent is getting right, right warm. Oh, Victor and Terry Ann are gonna love it. But yes, when it comes to yellow perch, just like walleye, they uh, they rely on their their eyes for hunting. So the best time I read some articles on this the other day, the best times to go after the yellow perch is uh, you know dusk and dawn, because they take a take advantage of the low light conditions. They're not a big fan of sunlight or darkness so you'll be hard pressed to catch them at night and even more hard pressed to catch them midday although you can it, it does happen of course but they're more inclined to hunt and eat you know early morning late evening that kind of kind of thing yeah we got a perch oh he just got off just got off. Another perch. It's hard to fish with all this camera gear in the way. But I want to get you guys a somewhat half decent video to watch. Well, it's official. The perch loved the midnight fire. Alright, uh, so I just burnt some of the hair off my arm. As you can see there, as uh, I reached over the heater to turn it off, that was uh, clearly not one of my brightest decisions in life. So I just had another perch and dart out of nowhere, grabbed him in at fire, and then let it go immediately and take off. It was like a drive-by. Ugh. That ice level camera right there at the hole. I have to keep turning on the heater and heating it up, or the battery refuses to work. I was trying to get these cameras rolling. I just had another perch come and grab the midnight fire. He grabbed it and spit it while I was trying to turn this camera on I'd love to keep the cameras rolling but uh, they don't like the cold at all hence why I got the heater next to the one over the hole to keep that one from freezing up uh, this is my old handy cam and I mean it somewhat works I don't know how well it's focusing but Be oh, beggars can't be choosers what was that down there and again, my 4K camera to just... I'm having card issues today. Now, that camera would have been perfect for this, but... Uh, what can you do? So as I film more videos for the YouTube channel, of course the quality is going to get better and better, I promise. I'm going to get better cameras, better gear. I mean, it's going to be a little bit tougher when I do the rivers and the streams but uh, the boat stuff seems to be doing pretty good every time a perch comes up to this fly they they attempt to take it it just might be a little a little bit big for the perch it's a size 10 which isn't abnormally huge but it's not exactly super small either oh man Just missed a huge, huge trout. There he is. There he is. He's come back three times for the midnight fire. Got oh, just out of his mouth. Just popped it out of his mouth. Nuts. That was a nice sized trout. That will explain why I haven't seen the perch in a while. That was a big trout. 
I hooked him, but it popped out of his mouth. Maybe he'll come back. He's come back three times for this fly. Oh, the Midnight Flyer, you are awesome. That was a nice sized trout. I think I got it on, oh, there he is. He keeps coming back for this thing. That big trout has come back four times for this midnight fire. He's grabbed it four times. I'm hooking him in the bottom lip. Oh, and look, a perch. Hey, perchy. Here's a perch. Oh, he, he doesn't want none of this. Man, this midnight fire is garnering a lot of action. Oh, there's perch. Perch, perch, perch. It is time to change the, the battery. Oh, they do not last long. These do not last long at all. <clears throat> we finally got a perch. <clears throat> we got a perch. And he's gone. Just like that. All right. Oh, this wasn't even freaking recording. Oh well. Let's get some more. Ah, welcome home. Terry Ann and Victor have arrived. They are gonna have fun today. Better late than never, I guess. Oh, that's okay. Actually, I thought we got up early. <laughs> and I thought I left late. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was awake when you texted me. Yeah, I was shocked to get a reply that quick. Uh, oh, I got my hockey. No way. Oh, look, I got no reception up there, but I still get my hockey updates. So, uh, Foley, Michael Backland. Okay, so far that's looking good. Although the team is uh, having some struggles this year. I you know, think we need the heater on. It's so hot. In oh, here. no. No, I just turned it on for the batteries. But I haven't even checked the depth of the ice yet. I can't believe that. <sighs> oh, my God. Okay, All right, she's fully submerged. Oh, I can't even remember. Sure, I'll use that one. Okay. So, we're about right here. Don't right here. So, it's about 18, 19 inch. Yeah. How many? 18, 19 inch. Oh, shit. Yeah. My, uh, I was a little worried because some of the rivers we were going over. Oh, they, they were open. wide open. It was like, uh oh. Like, uh, uh, what was that? The Red Deer and the Clearwater, they're wide open. Yeah. Unbelievable. And people were complaining about uh, flood water up north already. Yeah, I saw that. You seen that people picture? Stopped. Yeah. So I was a little concerned, but. Oh, look at that oh, sucker. Catch yeah. some fish first. <laughs> oh, oh, we're we going to catch some fish. Hey, oh, perch. Hell. Little perchy. We got another perch. Oh, right on. Oh yeah. So his, you see his dorsal fin. Yeah, they're all different on the trout. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't really know. Oh yeah. There we go. Nice little perch. Yeah. He gone. Can't see much meat off. So there was a time when I was fishing this lake and we were over there on the far north side and uh, oh, you almost lost a rod down the hole. I mean, it would have been exciting if there was a fish on it, but, but we were over on the north side and I was doing all right fish wise. And my dad gave me one of his flies called the Sid Special. Who's and Sid? my dad. 
<laughs> and uh, yeah, and he gave me one of his flies, <clears throat> and I just casted the line out, and I hooked a fish. So I reel in the fish, and this is when we were in our pontoon boats. And I grabbed the hook, threw it out, and just as I was releasing the fish, another fish had grabbed the, the fly and took off with it. And I look over, and my dad just smiling. <laughs> no doubt. Eh? And he's like, my fly, my fly. <laughs> yeah, I still have a couple of those, but I need to tie more up. You know what cereal I could not believe was taken away? I didn't know it, it went away. Alphabets. Alphabet's gone. I didn't know I that. That was like spaghettios. Like. When the hell did they get rid of all oh, the spaghettios? I don't know if those are still. Yeah, like alphabetti. Alphabetti. Ah, okay. I still see the alphabetti. Alphabetti. Yeah. Well, At least there's pieces, pizzas are going. There's alphabetti, and then what's the other one? Zoodles. Did they zoodles. still make the zoodles? Uh, I think I've had. I think I've alphabetti before. I don't think I had zoodles. Yeah, the, the the zoodles same. had the animal shapes and whatnot, yeah. so you could have fun devouring all the endangered animals. Mm. But alphabets, like yeah, I didn't know alphabets went away. Hmm. And again, the Fruity Pebbles I got now is not the freaking one I grew up with. And I can't even Google a picture of the one I grew up with. It was like little tiny rocks. It was like little boulders. <laughs> like marshmallows? <laughs> no, they were just, it was regular cereal. It was Fruity Pebbles, but the pebbles were actually pebbles. They weren't these stupid little Rice Krispie wannabes. <laughs> hmm. What was the one you were just talking about? <laughs> Orange stirs, you know, stirs. Marshmallows, marshmallows. Lucky charms. Yes. Lucky charms. Lucky yeah. charms. Yeah. I've never seen that. Oh. Do they have it here? Well, I've seen lucky charms. I mean, yeah. They got a whole bunch of different uh, marshmallows now. Hmm. I remember when they first came out with the pot of gold and then the rainbows and. Was that on lucky charms? They had it on lucky charms. Yeah. We had lots of puff wheat. And uh, oh. Puff wheat's not bad. I mean, as you get older, you learn to appreciate that stuff. Yeah. So you can buy a big giant bag. I remember we used to get like Rice Krispies. Oh, Rice flakes. Krispies, yeah. Rice Krispies were good. Corn you flakes. Put a pound of sugar on them. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like the uh, the original Cheerios. Cheerio. Oh yeah. The Cheerios. The yellow box, and then you got the Honey Nut Cheerios mm -hmm. with that friggin' bee. Yep. Is he dead? He's gonna be long dead now. That bee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? You got me an old sucker, that guy. I don't even think I've seen commercials for that anymore. No, I, That's probably on Saturday night mor mornings, like, currently. Yeah. You see all these cereals that, you know. Well, they used to have the Cat and Crunch commercials. I remember those ones. The Cat Cat and Crunch. Okay. That one's, you're, that's a race against time. That is a time-sensitive cereal. Because the second you add milk, if you eat it too early, it's going to slice the crap out of your mouth. But if you leave it too long, you're just eating mush. <laughs> so you have a very short window where it's actually good cereal. Honeycomb. Honeycomb, yes, honeycomb. that's changed, but it's uh, yeah, it's still generally the same. I mean, of course, all the boxes have gotten smaller. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, there's mostly just air in the bag with the cereal. Oh in it. yeah. So you might as well make the box like this big. Oh yeah. Like that. What about? Uh, I think they're wasting corn cardboard. Pops. Oh, corn pops. Those used to be. Those were all another time-sensitive one. Like they were like rocks. I don't really know. Know. Yeah. So you see, corn pops. That's what the old fruity pebbles used to look like, except they weren't balls. They were little ovals, mm. but they were the same texture as corn pops. Yeah, I think the fish are down there listening to us. I don't know what kind of cereal they eat? <laughs> Midnight fire cereal. Mm. <laughs> oh, what about the? You're talking about puffed wheat uh, sugar crisp. Yeah. It's basically sugarized yeah. puffed wheat. Yeah, I've had that before. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, sugar crisp pretty good. I remember that friggin' bear. He's gotta be long dead too. The sugar crisp bear. Yeah. Can't get enough of my bear. sugar crisp. <laughs> the other one? Hmm. Fruit Loops. Mm, I think I've only had like once or twice. That's but like in those changed little, a little bit. Those little oh boxes. yeah. You get all the you open them up and because you you could it. get the packs of three or six or. Some and they had uh, yeah, right, there's two on each side. yeah, Rice Krispies, cor uh, Frosted Flakes. Um, what was the one you just mentioned? I forget. Uh, that oh, came to um, uh, fruit, 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 loops. fruit Loops, yeah, yeah. Fruit Loops came in a little thing enough for like three spoonfuls, and then that was it. Yeah, uh, what, what the devil else? Count Chocula, um, oh, Count Chocula. I never had Blueberry. much of that. 
was the other one? Yes, Count yeah, chocolate blueberry. I never had them. Count chocolate blueberry. There's another one. Uh, I can see the Count Chocula box. Yeah. He had marshmallows in there, did he? Like little marshmallow fangs or whatnot? I, I've never had it, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I remember. Blueberry, Count Chocula. Mint, mint berry? There's gotta be another <laughs> one. I can't remember what it was called now. All right, commenters, you gotta figure out the other one. <laughs> yeah, so, Along so, that line. So we'll figure out what it is. Boo, I've never heard of Booberry. No? I never heard of that one. I heard it's it. American. Maybe it is American. I think it, I maybe saw it like on Saturday Saturday morning. Well, who day. used to be the cereal makers? Like there, like there was Post. Post used to do the alphabet, uh, and that was Kellogg's. Kellogg's, yes, Kellogg's. Uh, who does a lot of them now? I have no idea. I mean, Johnson as a Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as a kid, do you really go up to the box? I got to read this first. Sorry. Yeah. It's got to meet my criteria. Well, they have more cereals down the states. Oh yeah. They have more oh yeah. Well, they had the fruity pebbles, and then you remember they had the cocoa pebbles that came out, and they were the okay. identical cereal, but they were chocolate. Again, they were that weird. It was like corn pops, but oblong or whatever you want to call that. Little ovals. Well, there's well, Tim Hortons has cereal. Timbits. Oh, Timbits. Timbits, yes. That reminds me of the Nesquik. It's a Nesquik knockoff. Nesquik cereal. There's a Nesquik? Yeah, there's a Nesquik cereal. I thought it was just a powder. Oh, no. I remember the powder yeah. days. Yeah, I remember the powder. The powder. The, the, the really cool one was uh, the one that was in like a... The bunny? Liquid. liquid yeah. Chocolate. Yeah, the liquid uh, oh. came in the shape of a bunny. Uh, wasn't that quick? Yeah. I think that was Nesquik. Was Nesquik a bunny? I think it was a bunny. I think so. Yeah. I think it was. I think I, rem I remember some of the commercials where it shows you your milk turns chocolate after. Yeah, yeah. Mind you, with the powder, you really had to stir oh, it. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. But with a the liquid, it would, you know. Well, and the liquid sometimes would stick to the bottom of the glass. <laughs> True enough. It all tasted horrible. <laughs> I'm sure it all took uh, a couple of years off our lives. Yeah. I think you still get quick. And then there was like a pink quick. Yes, yes, there was the pink. Yeah, pink the quick. strawberry. Was I like the strawberry. Oh, I would never drink that. I like the strawberry stuff. That stuff kind of became a thing of the past. Mm -hmm. That about does it for us on Struble Lake. Got a little bit of fish on camera. Wish we would have got a little more up the hole, but it was still a good day nonetheless. So we're gonna be on our way to the Burger Baron before we head home. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. If you're interested in more Fish On Alberta content, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. You can also join our Instagram and Facebook group by clicking the link in the description below. And keep in mind, you can play a role in protecting fish and wildlife resources and our natural surroundings by observing the activity around you. You can report suspicious and illegal activity by calling the number on the screen or by visiting reportapoacher.com. When you report an incident you could be eligible for a reward for providing information on violations of Alberta's fish and wildlife laws. All the music in this episode was downloaded from upbeat.io. Thanks for watching.
Sometimes I think I'm too fat for this shit.